before we launched the Taekwondo Humanitarian Foundation, I didn't know that how many refugees are in the world. So IFC, as you know that in 2016, when there was a real Olympic Games, IFC decided, let's give a chance to refugee athletes to participate in the Olympic Games. That was the first issue in 2016. Then IFC changed the rules and regulations. So from 2016 Rio Olympic Games, IOC allowed to participate in refugee athletes. So I believe this uh, inaugural Olympic Refugee Foundation in, uh, under the IOC was very timely and needed action. So I'm really honored and proud that I can be an inaugural founding board member. I believe as an Olympic sports, all the Olympic sports, they should do something for the contribution to the society, contribution to the human society. I think uh, World Taekwondo is a pioneer doing such a wonderful things to the human society. Well, as we all know, Taekwondo is really different sports than any other Olympic sports. This is so not only for playing and with the competition, but it has in the base philosophy and the courtesy. Those kind of things, I believe Taekwondo is the only combat sports based on the, this kind of attitude. So many parents, they like to say, send their children to Taekwondo Doja mm -hmm. because after they start to learn Taekwondo, their behavior has changed. This is other side, we have a fundraising. And also, once you are doing good, good things, Many people want to support, and this time and we are going to build the Taekwondo Academy in Azra Camp in Jordan. Then for the first time we can found a nice Taekwondo Academy in Azra wow. refugee camp. So that's another initiation, initiation from all Taekwondo. I think many in other international federations will follow our activities as a role model. But Djibouti, the country itself is a very poor country. And there are about 1,500 Yemenis refugees at the Marakaji refugee camp in Djibouti. The situation is there, it's very, very poor. But young kids, one young kid, about seven, eight years old, a female kid, kept following me while I was there. So even I took a picture with her, and I cannot forget her eyes. Her eyes? Yes, she was looking for something. Taekwondo is always pioneer. We are doing some good things for the human society. Like uh, what we did in 2009, we found World Taekwondo Peace Corps teams. So World Taekwondo Peace Corps Foundation, we are selecting the Taekwondo instructors from young uh, college kids, mm -hmm. and we are dispatching to needed places. Well, as you know, that 2017 is another successful year for World Taekwondo. And as you know, we have a uh, the first ever uh, World Beach Games it was successfully launched in Rhodos Island in Greece in May. After that, we had a chance to give honorary dance certificate to Pope Francesco, Francesco in Vatican City. That was most successful. Moreover, that was the first World Championships that the President of the Republic, Moon Jae-in, came down to 
have a celebration together and he delivered a wonderful speech in the opening ceremony. In 2018, we are finishing Azraf Tekondo Refugee Camp, you know, the Youth Olympic Games, and Grand Prix events in Rome, and also we have uh, Asian Games. So that's in August. So many good, important activities are waiting, and we'll have another successful year in 2018. to support young children in many different refugee camps. Let's give them a hope and dream through our sports. That's our mission in 2018. I hope all the, our member national associations and also continental unions will support our mottos. Thank you.